Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam here, and welcome to this video. So I do have one more video of the Jaggies trip, uh, which I wanted to share with you guys. This is all about the pictures I took on the journey uh, to Jaggies HQ, which is located in Cambridge. Um, so yeah, I took a load of them, so I just thought I'd share them with you guys. I didn't want to put them to waste or anything like that. So hopefully you enjoy. So the first picture is my bag. This is me finishing packing. Um, I didn't need to take a suitcase or anything like that because I live in England. I didn't need to take too much. Uh, so, you know, this was fine. And uh, I did actually manage to go with my friend. Uh, he tagged along with me. His name was Miffy. You might know him from the Friends chat. Um, and he had something similar to that as well. So we were fine with that. Um, and then this picture is the bus or the coach. And uh, this is pretty funny because we were waiting at the bus stop for about 20 minutes. And as soon as our bus was meant to arrive, this other one came. And we were like, oh yeah, this is the one. Uh, so we put our luggage, you know, underneath it and were ready to go on. And before I went on, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to ask this guy just to double check that this is the right um right bus and uh, he said no 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 it's going somewhere else I was like wow okay that was close um, we nearly got on the wrong bus like at the very start um, that's not very good so we we got our luggage off and uh, we waited and uh, pretty much about two minutes later this other bus came so we we're like ah oh, here it is you know it's finally here um, so we were, again we were queuing up ready to go on and again this one was going somewhere else so we were like hang on a minute what's going on like where's our bus uh, we don't want to be late you know we didn't want it to you know mess up and you know we find out it didn't even turn up and it's just a massive fail and I can't go to Jagex but uh, it was like 20 minutes late um, which was nervy because I didn't want to like miss our train because like after this uh, bus ride we had to take the train I didn't want to miss that and then it would be just like a massive fail and I'd have to go home or something but um, the bus ride was fine uh, we got on it and it was the right one and it only took about 50 minutes so it wasn't too bad um, I was just you know really glad that we you know were finally on the, the right bus and we we're heading towards Jagex it's always just an exciting feeling knowing that we're off uh, the journey has begun um, but yeah like I said it took about 50 minutes to the train station uh, as you can see on the screen right now of the picture uh, this is the train station that was a very small one it's only got two platforms on and I believe we're on platform two which is on the left hand side I think you can just about see the numbers um, so yeah we were waiting on the left hand side we actually waited for about 20 minutes so we did have enough time which was fine I didn't want to you know be late and miss the train and wait for another one so that was all good that we uh, managed to get there on time and our, our train arrived and we were on that for about two and a half hours because that train was heading to Stansted Airport I believe um, which was you know going past Cambridge so you know we didn't have to do any changes after that it was always just a one-way sort of thing or just a one-way uh, train um, which was always nice you know you don't want to risk like changing all the time and messing up and you know just missing your train things like that but uh, yeah it took about two and a half hours and uh, everything was smooth it got really busy towards the end though I just guess Cambridge is kind of like a busy place um, but yeah we managed to get off and uh, we were in Cambridge station uh, which is what you can see on the screen right now so yeah, at Cambridge it was very, very busy. There was like loads and loads of people. And me and my friend were just like, all right, let's just get out of here. We need to find the taxi and uh, get going towards the hotel. Um, so yeah, we just headed to the exit and uh, we're waiting in the queue for the taxi for about five, 10 minutes. It was quite big um, just because like there were so many people there. But we got on the taxi. Um, I did take pictures of everything, by the way. So you might be like, wow, he's taking a picture of a taxi. But I wanted to do this on purpose for the video. Um, that is all. I don't really keep the picture myself to look at about the taxi and stuff. It was just for this video. Uh, to show you the journey but yeah we we're on the taxi it didn't take too long probably about 10 minutes and uh, we got towards the hotel and the hotel was really nice you might have seen some of these pictures before um, on some of my uh, you know pictures I've uploaded to Twitter or uh, just from other people that went as well uh, but it was a really really nice hotel it's like a palace uh, and actually there was another story actually when we got to the hotel um, we're going up the steps you know going towards the reception and we're like hey hey we've uh, you know been invited by Jagex we should have some like rooms reserved and they're like yep yeah, that's cool and then they asked us for our ID so I just handed it over uh, just to make sure we were the right people and uh, then they got their card machine out so I was like okay uh, they asked for my debit card so I, you know, I put it in and then they I looked at the screen and it said like £310 this is for the accommodation I'm like this should already have been paid because I don't have that money on my card and then they're like oh god well I'm per personally I'm thinking like I'm panicking I'm like oh god what if I can't get my room and I have to like sleep on the streets or something can I just like die or something or get robbed um, but no they're like oh no don't worry we just have like we just charge you 1p and uh, you can just sort it out with uh, Jagex and get it sorted in terms of paying the money over uh, so I was like oh god thank god for that because I, I did panic a little because I've never like done it but I've never been invited to um, a hotel before where it's already been paid and stuff and I'm just doing it all on my own at the front so that was a shock but uh, it was alright after that they gave us our cards for the doors like they don't have keys for the hotels they have these cards and uh, again this is another story because me and, me and my friend Miffy were like okay so we got these cards now 
Um, let's go to our room. So I was like, hey, let's just go to your room first. Let's just see where it is. Because uh, we happened to be on like, we were on the fourth floor, both of us, but he was on like the left hand side and I was on the right hand side. So I just wanted to make sure you know where his room was if I ever need him. Uh, so we went to his first and we, you know, putting the card in and we we're like, actually, how do we open this door? We couldn't open it. We were there for about 10 minutes putting the card in, trying to, you know, push the door, force it open, you know, taking it out and stuff. Um, this sounds really like really wrong actually, but we just couldn't get the door open. So we're like, okay, what we'll do? We'll head over to my room and we'll try and like see if it's you know all right with mine. Maybe your card's just you know broken or something. Uh, so we ha we headed over to my room and uh, again I couldn't I couldn't get it working. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom! It it opened because uh, there's this little light on it. There's like a red light and a green light, and obviously green means open. Um, so I was like, yay, we're in. I don't know how I did that, but uh, I'm in, which is good. Uh, so I put my stuff down and, uh, you know, all my, like, luggage and stuff like that. And I just saw the rooms, and it's awesome. As you can see on the screen, it had, like, this massive TV. It had, like, Sky on it, so I was, like, watching Sky Sports. And you guys would have known I was, like, watching Match of the Day on that. Um, a massive bed. Really, really nice. I had my own en suite and uh, stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I closed the door. I had my card sealed. I don't want to forget about that. And I was like, okay, whilst I've closed the door, let's just see if I can open it again. And I was like, hang on, I can't, I can't open it. All my luggage is in there, and I can't even open the door again. What's going on? Uh, and then we finally, after literally, it was took us about 10 minutes, maybe 15. Um, I was like, ah, okay. So what you got to do is put the card in, and then you take it out slowly, and then it opens. And like we were just like, wow, okay. So we went back to my uh, my friend Miffy's room, and it worked for him. And it's just like a massive fail on our part. But that was pretty funny. Um, we finally got the doors open and uh, that was pretty cool. Now the next thing, like once we got that sorted, we're just like, okay, now what? Like we've we've arrived at the hotel. We haven't seen anyone yet. We've not heard from uh, Jagex or anything like that. So we're like, what do we do? Where do we eat? What's going on? Um, so we were like, okay, let's just walk around outside. Let's just see what's, you know, around the hotel and things like that. Um, just to sort of get like used to the area. I know we were there for like a couple of days, but we just thought, you know, it's something to do. So that's what we did. We started walking around and uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to ring my friend Jay. Uh, you guys know him as Jakir. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm going to ring him because he went like the week earlier that week. So I was asking him, what did he do when he arrived at the hotel? Uh, so I rang him and he's like, oh, this, uh, Sergio, this is another person that went. He was called Sergio. Uh, Sergio's there now. Um, you know, at the hotel, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, we we'll head back then because we'd only been walking around outside for about five minutes. So I was like, okay, we we'll head back to the hotel, and uh, we'll try and find Sergio, and uh, you know, we we'll just hang out then, because um, we didn't want to just be the only ones there. Like, what do we do? Uh, everyone else could be somewhere else. So we head back to the hotel, um, and as we were going back up the stairs, I remember just looking to my left, and I, I was like, oh my god, there's Silent Core, um, and then all of a sudden, I didn't even see everyone else, but every like there was a well, I think it was about six or seven people all sitting down. I just remember seeing Silent Core because he was sort of standing up, and it was had like people sitting down with like um, Darden, a Razor Gaming, uh, Efficiency Scape. Everyone that got invited was sitting there, apart from I think three people, two or three people. Uh, so that was like a massive shock because we were like we weren't like we weren't away for long. Um, so we were like, okay, we completely missed everyone. They must have been in their rooms or something. But um, we were like shaking hands. It was kind of awkward at the start because we were just like not prepared for it. Everyone was just already there, so we we're just like shaking hands with, uh, you know, like I said, Darling, Razor Game, and Silent Core, Efficiency Scape, um, everyone like that. And uh, you know, we were just sort of getting used to everyone. It was kind of a shock, you know, just like wow, everyone's here. Um, I'm meeting them all at once. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so we're just sort of like chilling out, uh, just talking about you know the trip or you know what to expect, things like that just sort of getting used to everyone and getting to know them and things like that so that was cool uh, and then we were like you know there's a few people that weren't there already um, I believe it was Skyzer, Miss Liddles and Will Miss It they're the three that weren't there um, so we we're sort of just like trying to get in touch like seeing where they were what's going on um, I think they were just mostly all late you know they weren't like didn't want to come out or anything um, they were just late because they had to travel quite far I think two of them did um, and we, I think Skyzer was just, I don't know what happened to Skyzer, but he arrived uh, later on, which I'll go on to in a second. But um, we were just like, okay, let's go eat somewhere because everyone's getting quite hungry. It was probably about six, seven o'clock at that point. Um, so we, you know, went to this restaurant and uh, had like chopsticks. Like as soon as we went into the restaurant, there was like chopsticks on the, the table. So I'm like, oh my god, good fight me. I'm like, I can't use chopsticks. I've never even like held some chopsticks in my life. So this is gonna be a massive fail. I've got to try and impress like a Razor Gaming here. I'm gonna make him, you know, know I'm not a noob in real life as well as on the game. So I was like, oh god, what's going on? And then luckily everyone was like. Oh, you don't use chopsticks, they're just there if you need them, but everyone had like a knife and fork, um, so it was, actually I didn't even think it was a knife and fork, I think it was just like a fork and spoon, that's what they gave us, 
uh, which was like weird. But we just had these curries, and it was really nice. Like on the menu, I didn't take a picture of the menu or anything, but it was like none of the stuff on the menu I'd ever heard of because it was kind of like I think it was like a foreign restaurant, um, like Japanese restaurant, something like that. Because I I had no idea what any of it meant, so I was like, "Dad, what do I have? What's nice? What do you recommend?" And I just had the same as him, and it was like it was really nice. So uh, what I did have, I can't remember what it was um, now, but. Um, yeah, that was really cool. So I was just, you know, chilling with them, talking to them, you know, just seeing what's going on, what we're going to be doing later that day, and uh, like I said, trying to get in touch with the other people. So that's pretty much what happened. Uh, we had our food, um, just taking pictures really, and then uh, we sort of headed back to the hotel. And this is where we wanted to make sure, you know, people that did arrive late, that, we, that you know, they were with the group. Um, so I think that's when we saw Skyzer and Miss Liddles. Uh, Will Miss It still wasn't there. I think he was in the, like, he, he, he travelled from another country, so I think he got delayed or something, so we were going to see him later. Um, so what we did then is everyone sort of, we just went out to this uh, sort of bar thing, we had loads of drinks, and just again, just chilled and, you know, chatted about the game. Um, and it was really weird, because it's like, not many, I've never really, you know, gone out somewhere and just sort of talked about RuneScape. Um, you know, it's more mainly just other stuff, but so it's really cool to sort of talk about RuneScape and just sort of, like see what people think about it and uh, you know what they like about the game and the fact that you know there's some big YouTubers there as well and that you know I was subscribed to it was really like weird just sort of talking to them and you know just hanging out so that was kind of cool that was like one of the highlights of uh you know really the first day and stuff just like wow can't believe it it's actually happening um so yeah we were at the bar you know just there for about two three I don't, I don't know actually I think it was about two hours we weren't there too long um so you know that was kind of cool I, I did like that um I can't remember what drinks I had though, but it was pretty nice, whatever it was. Uh, so yeah, we were walking back. Uh, there's loads of people out at night. I think it was like 11 o'clock. Um, so it wasn't too late. Uh, so we just headed back to the hotel, and that's when we heard that Will miss it, um, or Will was actually he had actually arrived now. So we thought, you know, we might as well just say hi to him before, you know, we actually do go to Jagex the next day. So that's what we did. We just said hey. Um, we all sort of went to his door. It was a bit awkward, like, I would have thought it would have been a bit awkward if I was him, like, opening the door and everyone was there, but we sort of, like, uh, knocked on his door, he opened it, everyone's like, hey, 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 shaking his hand, stuff like that. He's a really cool guy, he's got an awesome voice as well, I think. Um, so that's kind of cool to see him, you know, just making sure we know everyone, and uh, the fact that everyone was there, everyone who did got invited, I was, like, friends with, I've, like, added them in game now, they're really, really cool people, and uh, I'll actually put a list in the description of everyone that went. And maybe their YouTube channel as well. So, you know, if you want to check out their vids too, uh, that'd be awesome. Because they, they really were all awesome. I made great friends with them. And they were so nice. There was no fallouts or anyone that didn't like anyone. Uh, so that was really nice to sort of, uh, you know, speak to everyone like that. It was pretty awesome. So after we, you know, saw Will miss it, that was pretty much it. We were all heading to bed anyway. Um, well, apart from me. You, know, you guys know I watch Match of the Day. Even though I said I'd try and watch it the next day in the morning. But... Um, I went to, well, I went back to my room and I was like, you know, I'm going to make a video now. The videos you saw about the Jagged's Trip 1 and 2, they were pretty much at the end of the day. I was just like, you know what, let's just make a vid. Um, one of them was like half 11, I did it at, and the other one, the one after that was about 3 o'clock in the morning. That's crazy, but that's what I did. Um, I just made a quick video, and then I, I remember just turning on the TV, you know, just let's just see what's on. I might, like, fall asleep whilst watching a film, or, you know, let's just see if anything interesting's on. That's when I saw, like, the football was actually on. It's, like, extended highlights. So I was like, oh, okay. So I just watched this then, and I did. It was, like, the Arsenal game, and they they won. Um, who were they playing? I can't remember who they are playing, but uh, we won, and we are top of the table, so that was awesome. And uh, that's when, you know, went to sleep, and uh, that's when the next day came. So that's this is the Jagex trip. Well, this yeah, this is the, the actual day I went to Jagex, so it, I was excited. As soon as I woke up, I'm like, oh, God. You know, even though I woke up and I was tired, I wasn't like, I'm just going to stay in bed. I was really pumped and ready to go. Uh, ready to you know visit Jagex and see everyone. I was really really excited. So um, it was a cool thing. So you know we just like got changed, had showers, whatever. Um, went down, had breakfast because all the breakfast was included as well, and it was really nice. Um, I remember just eating breakfast with Miss Liddles, Skyzer, and we'll miss it. They were the main people I saw there, um, and the day after we were eating breakfast with them. Um, so you know that was nice to uh, sort of just catch up with them uh, right up in the morning, see what they're up to. Uh, so yeah, we went back and uh, you know waited for our taxis. They were a little bit late, probably like half an hour. We were sort of just waiting around, like where are they? Um, but we finally got on the taxis and we're heading to Jagex HQ. Uh, that's where we had to um, you know get the lanyard things put around our neck to make sure people know that we're guests. We can't just walk around randomly and be like, who's that? Uh, so we had them, uh, and then we went into the cafe um, to sign some papers. 
to uh, you know just say that we can't share any um, information about the game to anyone so unfortunately I can't tell you guys what I saw um, but I can tell you it's awesome it really is guys it is gonna be awesome for the game everything that's coming out um, so yeah definitely definitely look out for it I mean obviously you're gonna look out for it because you're gonna see it but um, yeah it is awesome what they've got planned so I'm not gonna go any further than that unfortunately because I can't so yeah we signed the papers and uh, that was when Mod Jane was sort of like you know touring us around we we're meeting everyone like the player support team uh, the bot watch team everyone pretty much to do with RuneScape you know different areas and it's really weird just seeing it you know the Jagex mods behind the screen you know um, it's weird just seeing them actually uh, instead of just in game sort of J mods we we're actually seeing the J mods um, so that was really cool we like just meeting everyone shaking their hands and just asking them questions so we we're just walking around and that's why I remember um, mod MMG was in his office but he came out and you know he was talking to us and just saying you know hey nice to meet you and things like that so it was cool to see him you know he's the CEO um, big shock there and it was just really cool to, to meet him because we've seen him in the videos and things like that so it was nice to uh, talk to him uh, so yeah we just continued walking around we saw about the transformers uh, don't know too much about that though in terms of you know what they're bringing out um, but it was mainly just a runescape because they got like four floors and three of them are runescape and one is transform i think it's four floors actually it's either four or three but uh, most of them's on runescape um so you know we're still just going around and seeing what everyone's up to and uh, it was really cool so it was getting to the point now where you know we had been walking around for about two hours um, two or three hours and we were getting a bit hungry so we you know we had our food um, again that's where we ate with uh, more mods or J mods um, I remember seeing mod rocket and mod slayer that's right uh, mod slayer is actually you know I've known her before she's a really good friend of mine um, so it was cool to see her and just say hey and for her to know what I look like in terms of you know just behind the screen instead of like um, well, was, yeah, instead of behind the screen, she can actually see what I look like and I can see what everyone else looks like. Um, so that was awesome. And then that's when Steve W was like, you know, who wants to be a player moderator? Everyone was like, me. <laughs> Pretty much, well, everyone except the people that already were player mods, like Darden and Miss Littles, I think were already play player mods. Um, so everyone else was like, yep, yeah, me, me, me. Um, well, they weren't like that, but, you know, put our hands up. And uh, I was first, like, I just happened to be in the line first. I was like, yay. Um, so, you know, he typed our names in and he sent us the, the the email thing to say that, you know, you've been invited to be a player moderator. Uh, and of course, you know, we all accepted it. And I am now a player moderator, uh, if anyone is uh, curious. And uh, yeah, you'd be like, is that the real scape skill? He's a player mod. I never knew that. But no, I am a player moderator. It's awesome. Um, well, I mean, it's still the same. I'm still the same as any other player, but, you know, it's always just nice to have that extra little bit of power in case someone is sort of abusing you. Um, I guess it makes sense, you know, if you have got, like, my friend chat's pretty busy, um, so, you know, you do get some people that mess about sometimes that, you know, do abuse you or others, so it's always nice to have that extra say in terms of, you know, getting rid of them, um, so that's always nice. Um, so, yeah, we just walked around a little bit more, everyone got their mod, like, status, and uh, then we went to uh, Mod Osborne, he's the guy behind the law, you guys probably know him, um, he loves his law, and uh, I've, like... Jakir loves him too, so he's told me a lot about him. So I was really looking forward to it. Like I've never used to be a law type of person in RuneScape, but they really brought it to life um, in terms of you know everyone getting involved. Like with the Battle of Lumbridge, um, before the law wasn't really too interesting. I mean it was only like Zami, Guffix, and Saradomin as sort of the main ones. But now there's like a massive war going on. Everyone's getting involved. It's really cool. Uh, so I like that. So you know he showed us some concept art of uh, future things coming out. And he spoke for about an hour, which went really really fast. Actually, it was really interesting. That was why I really did enjoy that. Um, so that was cool. Uh, and then literally straight after that sort of uh, little uh, talk with Mod Osborne, we went into another room where uh, Mod Mark was there. Now we did actually, I forgot to mention, we did meet Mod Mark earlier. Um, you know, we just, you know, it was cool seeing him actually because, you know, you see him in a lot of videos and, um, you know, we just said hey to him and it's like, this is the real guy. This is like Mod Mark's awesome. He's a, he's a really cool guy, by the way, guys. He gets so much hate, but he's an awesome, awesome mod and uh, he's really, really nice. So it, it kind of does suck. I mean, obviously, there are like immature people out there who just continue doing it, but he's such a nice guy. And if you were him and you were getting all that hate and stuff, you'd be like really really sort of annoyed but he handles it so well he's such a beast and i respect mod mark so if anyone hates mod mark then you suck 
because he is awesome. He really is. Um, so yeah, back to the point. Um, we were in the meeting with Mod Mark. We had Mod Jane. Uh, we were speaking about you know feedback. This is like feedback time where I gave him feedback of what I think about the game in terms of what can be fixed, what can be removed, what can be added, everything like that. I had a big list which I made on the train actually on the way. So um, I told him about that. Um, so, and so did everyone else, you know, they had all had their feedback, so that was cool, and that went really fast as well, we were in there for about two hours in terms of just speaking with Mod Mark and Mod Jane, uh, and then like Mod MMG, Mod Jack Mob, and Mod Mac joined us, they all sort of just like creeped in behind us and we were like, oh god, what's going on? Um, so yeah, we started talking about them, a bit more serious sort of topics, um, but again, I can't go into any any details of what we said or anything like that. Uh, but we were in there for a good three, four hours. Um, but it was really good fun though. It wasn't like we were sitting there like, oh, this is so boring. It was really good fun. I loved it. Um, it was really nice to give feedback um, to the, you know the game and sort of get you know real time responses in terms of you know that's good or I don't know. Um, but you know it was really cool. Uh, so we were originally going to be uh, heading back to the hotel to freshen up, you know, get changed or something, have a shower to go to the hotel. But because we've been like so busy and everything like that, we didn't have the time, so we just went straight to the restaurant. And uh, this is where, um, you know, obviously we had our food, and I was sitting opposite Mod Mark. It's really cool because it's just like I'm eating my dinner opposite Mod Mark. Crazy, speaking about RuneScape and stuff like that. And again, he's a really nice guy, um, and he's so awesome. He really is. He's one of my favorite mods now. He he, he honestly is. He's so cool. Um, and then on the left hand side, I had Mod Mac. Uh, again, he was like a mod I'd not really heard of before. Um, but he was really cool. He he was he was awesome. We we're just speaking about random stuff like football, uh, RuneScape, um, just you know crazy stuff really. And it was really good fun. Um, so that was nice. I remember on my right hand side it was Will Miss It. So a load of people, uh, just fun speaking to. And uh, we were also joined, uh, f you know, for dinner with Mod MMG. So, wait, I'll go over all the mods that went actually. So we had Mod Mac, uh, Mod MMG, Mod Mark. Uh, mod Slayer, Mod Jane, Mod Chris L, and Mod Anna. So they are all the mods. Hopefully I haven't forgotten about any of them. If they do watch this video, they'll be like, you forgot me. But yeah, they were really cool. And obviously all the other um, players too that got invited. Uh, we were just hanging out, you know, eating our like, food. It was really nice food as well. Um, and uh, the drink was nice too. I uh, had like ale. They had their own ale and it was really nice. Um, so yeah, we were there for about two hours. Two, f I don't know actually. It, it goes so fast. Like I, I didn't time it or anything. Um, but probably about three, two, three, four hours sometime in between that. Um, and I remember Will Miss it was like, so what about that tank? Because if you don't know, Jake has got their own tank, and uh, when we got to Jake's HQ in the morning, they were saying like, you know, we can ride the tank if we want, and we were like, yes, you know, that'd be awesome. Uh, but we completely forgot about it. We honestly did. Um, so mod M, I was expecting on mod MNG to be like, sorry guys, you know, it's a bit too late now. But he was like, let's do it. Um, and I wasn't sure if he was messing about or not, like you know, just you know, as a joke, but then being serious and saying no. But he literally meant it, and uh, we did actually get to ride the tank. So this was about one in the morning, like driving a tank. It actually went faster than I thought. Um, the picture you can see on the screen right now is in the day, but that's only because that's when we got to Jagex. I thought, you know, I'm going to take a picture of it. Um, but we, you know, drove the tank, and when I say we, I actually managed to drive it as well. Um, he was sort of a, uh, he was like asking people, you know, who wants to drive it. And like before I got to Jagex, I was thinking it whether whether I should drive it or not, and uh, I wasn't sure. And then like when I'm like in the tank, I'm like again, I'm thinking should I do it or not? You know, I've never driven a car before, so I'd be rubbish with a tank. I might kill people. I don't know. I like you know I've got a Razor Gaming and Darwin in the back. I don't want to kill them because they make good vids uh, and they're nice guys. But you know I was only messing about there. But um, I was like you know what, let's just do it. You know I'm I'm going to drive the tank. You know what what could possibly go wrong. Mod MMG's behind me telling me what to do. Um, so I was like, you know what, let's just do it. This will be fun. So I did have a turn. I think the people that did drive the tank was Miss Liddles, who was actually the, probably the best, actually. Um, <laughs> she was really good. Uh, and then we had Tom, who was also pretty good. Um, and then it was me. And then after me was Silent Core. And then I'm only saying four people because I actually ran out of petrol after that. But when I drove it, I was like, oh, God, what do I do? But he was telling me. And I it took me a while to get started. But uh, I was good going straight forward. That's the easy part, though. But um, around the corners, I was like really jolty. I just couldn't get it right. But you know, I did two laps, and it was pretty awesome. And then as I got out, people were like, "You drove over the bush." And I was like, "Oops." Um, yeah, I, the bush got kind of destroyed. But uh, the thing is, when you're in the tank, you just can't feel it. You can't feel anything. Like you're going over something. If you hit a curb, you just don't feel it. You just go over it, and uh, 
it was kind of fun nonetheless uh, just to drive a tank and uh, yeah luckily I did get a go because yeah it did run out of petrol and some people were like no I wanted to have a go but it was really good fun um, so you know me expecting you know it's like probably like two o'clock in the morning then I was like you know this is probably it now we're gonna head back to our hotels but like it went on and on and on we like we wanted to do a live stream so this is a good thing it wasn't like oh, I'm tired well actually I was tired but at the same time like oh my god we're gonna do a live stream like on the RuneScape channel thing um, and two in the morning uh, it's gonna be awesome like a sort of a because we had a webcam on as well and um, you know we had like Darden there and we'll miss it and everyone you know that got invited like a massive sort of player live stream thing um, everyone was like sort of excited for that and we're doing like a Q&A even though I didn't like feature in it too much I did every now and then but I was too tired to sort of sit down and sort of just answer questions um, but I did answer a few and I was just playing Scape at the same time as well sort of just chilling out with my friends chat so shout out to you guys um, so yeah that was pretty much it for that day um, after that we did only live stream for about 45 minutes and we did head back um, we had got like we got some concept art as well which uh, everyone got so you guys probably would have seen it um, on Twitter I did post that like not too long ago um, and it's also on the screen right now it's one of them uh, Zamrak followers of uh, you know the on the Battle of Lumbridge it, it's on so it looks awesome I got all the mods not all the mods like at Jagex was quite a lot but the main sort of people um, so it's really cool to get that it really is quite nice I've got it on my wall right now I'm actually looking at it so it's, it, it is nice I do like it so uh, thank you Jagex for that um, and uh, yeah talking about that concept art me and Miffy like we put it down at the same place and we we're all sort of heading out to, you know waiting for our taxi to come and I was like oh god we've got a concept art so me and Miffy ran back, got a concept art and came back and then we realised like half the group, well the majority of the group had gone, like a taxi must have came whilst we were like running back um, to get our concept art so we were like oh okay so it was only me, Miffy, Sergio and Mod Jack Mob uh, left at Jagex so we were like okay we'll just wait for our taxi so uh, Jack Mob or James, I'll just call him by James, a bit better, um, he said well it'll take about 10 minutes so we're just sort of standing there and we're like you know is there any places we can walk around have a look and he showed us the servers of uh, Jagex you know the servers and they're really really noisy um, and uh, it was weird as well because it's like when you went into the room it was really really hot but then when you went into this certain area of the room it was really cold so it was kind of like it was kind of cool just seeing that you know I wasn't expecting to see it and I did take a few pictures which you can see on the screen right now um, so yeah there's some exclusive pictures really because there was only me uh, Miffy, Sergio and James I actually managed to see that um, so that was kind of cool really just to, to get an extra bit of uh, footage or extra bit of um, what's the word just a few photos sorted out for the video and uh, yeah it was kind of cool to see that like they weren't too interesting when I saw them like I was like oh no I still was like wow cool so our taxi did finally arrive and we we're heading back and uh, that was when we sort of like were just completely knackered seriously I got back to the taxi when it was like three o'clock in the morning and I was just like even though I still made a video <laughs> It was crazy guys, I made a video at 3 o'clock in the morning just for you guys because I was like, I could make it in the morning but I'm still going to do it now. So that's what I did, um, I did make it then and uh, after that I was just like died on the bed really uh, until the next morning so that was a really awesome day and I did enjoy it thoroughly. So the next morning was here and uh, this was unfortunately the last day I had to sort of leave for my train. I think I was leaving at about 12 o'clock so I didn't have too long. I was just expecting to sort of pack my stuff, wait at the hotel um, to about half 11 and then just head to the station. But um, as I was eating my breakfast I was speaking to like Skyzer and Miss Littles and uh, I think Will Miss It came in a little bit later. But um, we only like me and my friend uh, like I said Miffy who came with me um, we only realised actually that Skyzer was going on the same train as us on the way back. So we were like oh that's cool um you know <laughs> he could have came on the same uh, train on, train on the way as well but uh um he was on about talk, like going back to to Jagex and we were like but surely he ain't got enough time but he was like yeah I'll go there for an hour and a half or something so we were like okay well if you're you know going on the same train as us and uh you know we we'd happily go back to Cambridge oh, well we're already in Cambridge but um we'd happily go back to Jagex HQ uh, for an hour and a half and that's what we did um I think that time it was only, the only people that went again to Jagex HQ in that early morning was me Miffy Miss Liddles Skyzer and uh, a friend or a Razor Gaming um, so you know we sort of again had some exclusive sort of um, 
tour to Jagex again and uh, we sort of like went back to the computers we were all logged in and was playing RuneScape and just pretty much hanging out you know we we weren't planning to do anything like Jagex really didn't plan us to you know have an extra sort of half an hour an hour and a half sorry uh, to do stuff so we were sort of just uh, chilling uh, and then Modmark came in about like with 30 minutes to go before we had to go and he just, he was just like making sure that um, we had said everything we needed to in terms of you know um, any feedback and stuff like that so we did um, and then we had to go which was really like the really sad part um, you know we waved goodbye to Mr. Lewis and Eraser Gaming they're the only two that stayed there because um, I think they were staying for an extra day or something or I think Miss Liddles was going later that day and Eraser Gaming was staying for an extra day so he kind of got lucky I didn't know what he got up to in terms of um, if he had any more sort of tours around Jagex but um, yeah we headed back and uh, we got on our train um, and that was pretty much it really we're just heading back Skyzer went his way me and Miffy went our own and uh, you know we got back in time and stuff like that so it was pretty awesome like it was such an awesome trip um, there was probably a few stuff which I've missed out in this video, but overall the trip was amazing. I miss everyone. I miss the trip, like in t in terms of just like traveling. It was really good traveling, and you know, staying at the hotel, meeting all the J mods, and just talking to them. Uh, so maybe hopefully again, uh, I do get invited. Um, that would be awesome to be invi invited again. Sort of like I don't know, maybe take a few more pictures in terms of like in in jackets and stuff, which could be safe to to show. Um, but yeah, guys, I was never expecting to talk this long. What is it like ha over half an hour now? I was expecting this video to be about ten minutes, but I've just like talked and talked and talked. But hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, if you do like these sort of videos and uh, you want me to make some more in terms of just talking about random stuff. Um, maybe sort of like my Saga's Escape Skill, which I'm doing already. But if you do like this video, then feel free to throw out a thumbs up. Maybe leave any comments um, to do with this trip as well if you sort of didn't catch anything. Um, if you want to sort of know a little bit more, uh, then leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, and when I say <laughs> know a little bit more, that doesn't mean, you know, what's coming out in the future of RuneScape. Um, but just anything which you didn't sort of fully understand. Um, but yeah guys that's going to be it from me I really hope you've enjoyed it make sure to check out my earlier videos of Drab uh, Jagex Trip uh, 1 and 2 uh, which I've put on the, the channel already uh, it was an awesome awesome trip and uh, I thank Jagex very much for inviting me and uh, yeah guys that's it from me thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one